Okay, so you have created a Google Classroom and now you are ready to add students and families to that classroom. I'm going to show you how to do that. There are two ways to add a student. So the first way is to first go into your classroom. And in the top left hand corner of that banner is the code. So if I click on that full screen display, it allows that code to become a little larger. All you're going to do is copy that code and then email that, write that on the board. However, you can get that to your students in a private manner. Go ahead and do that. So let's take a look at the student end. So now I'm on my student account and I'm going to click on the plus button to join a class and I will paste in that code and click join. And now I've been added to SMS distance learning. Let's go back to the teacher account. So now on the teacher account, there's something else I want you to take note of. In the settings, there is a section under general called class code that allows you to display that code a little larger, copy that code, but it also has the option to either reset it or disable it. So those are some handy features to keep in mind. Now let's take a look at the second way that you can add students to your account. So let's go into a different classroom. Now let's take a look at how to add students by email. So in this case, I'm going to go under the People tab, and I'm going to go where it says Students. Click on this little plus button to invite the student. So let's type in their email address, and go ahead and invite them. So now let's go to the student account. You'll see that an invite has now been added to join this new class. So all I need to do is click join on the student end and I've been added to that class. Back on the teacher end, you'll notice that the middle school student test account first was grayed out and noted that they were invited. Now if I refresh my page, it shows that the student has been added and have joined that invitation. So they now have that class active in their Google Classroom. One other thing that I'd like to note is how to mass invite students. So if you have an Excel file, a Google Sheet, a CVS file with student emails in it, something like this, all you'll need to do is copy those emails, go back to your classroom, click on that invite button just as you did before, and just paste those emails in and press enter. Now you'll notice each of those students are in here and ready to invite. So that's a nice way to quickly add multiple students. Okay, so the last thing to take a look at today is how to invite families. So you'll notice here I have students and their families listed next to them. Um, and those are grayed out for privacy purposes, but you'll notice those who do not have guardians have this invite guardians option. So all I need to do is simply click on that. And I would invite the guardian by entering in their email and inviting them. And much like you had for the student, you'll see that it is grayed out with the invitation next to it. Once they accept that invitation, it will be removed. One nice thing that I'd like to send to families is this Google Classroom support page. And it just gives some more information to families about how to manage those email summaries that come into their email accounts. Um, especially if they have multiple students, they may want to revise what exactly comes to their email, how often, and exactly what that looks like. So again, don't forget to use these great resources and share those out with your families as well. Have a great day, everyone.